it's been a little while. Um, school has started, which is really exciting for me. Things have gotten really good. Like it's the first week of school and I'm feeling really good and excited about my semester. So uh, yeah, I'm just um, really looking forward to learning and challenging myself. But today I wanted to talk about people's opinions. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I am a film student, so so much of my education is based upon the idea that there's no right answer and that art is subjective and so there's so many different perspectives that someone can have and still not technically be wrong. And um, I love this concept because I love infighting. I love it when people argue about their opinions and why they think what they think. I love when people are really passionate about what they think. Uh, I think that's really important, especially in art. I think artists should stand up for what they think and back up what they say. Um, so being in the creative field, you get to see a lot of that and it's awesome. Uh, but I don't really care about what people's opinions are. Like the actual subject of the opinion, I don't really care. What I care about is why someone thinks what they think. Uh, if you follow me on Letterboxd, you know that I did not like Oppenheimer. I'm an Oppenheimer hater, but I'm also not a fan of Christopher Nolan as a director. Um, I think he is really, really good at certain aspects of filmmaking, but the films that he makes are not emotional enough for me. They are very technical, very... Some people have called it philosophical. I don't... I wouldn't call it philosophical. He makes films that are meant to subvert your expectations. And I don't think that should be the point of a movie. I don't think that a movie should be pretty all the time. I think things should be ugly. I think things should be plot driven I think and that's all my opinion and um I think the reason that I think that Christopher Nolan isn't the type of director I like I think the reason for me thinking that is more interesting than my actual opinion of not preferring him as a director so that that's kind of something that I've approached in my discussions about art lately with people is like okay 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 you didn't like say the Barbie movie why didn't you like it? What's your thought process? What did you notice that I didn't notice? And why did it impact your viewing experience? And I, I think that, that that's a really important aspect of communication with other people is seeing them as a person and having empathy for them and their opinion. And it's important because it changes how you view other people and how you go through your daily life and not letting the strangers and random people around you become in NPCs because that's kind of what we're slipping into, right? It's the reason that people shoot each other over like road rage incidents is because you stop seeing other people as people because you don't really respect them. Um, and I think that's interesting as well. I don't really think there are very many people who actually fall victim to that. But I think it's easy to do if you're like just a little bit narcissistic or maybe just a little bit depressed because depression makes you a little bit narcissistic. That is a hot take that I will not defend, <laughs> at least right now. But I think um, when you break down people's daily lives and what they remember about their day, they remember what they were doing and what they said to other people more than what other people said to them and what they absorbed which is why i think so many people are like anti-education um is because they don't always value the input of others and you know i part of my video is saying that the opinion of others doesn't really matter uh and it doesn't but their reason for telling you does so when you go to college and let's say you're in film school like me and you have a professor who is maybe like an Emmy winning director and they can teach you all kinds of different things. And it's like, okay, well, what they're teaching me is interesting and it's gonna be a help to me, but why are they teaching me? 
oh, they're teaching me because they didn't learn what they're teaching in film school and they were inspired to teach other people what they wish they had known. That's really interesting and it makes them, it, it, it highlights them as a good person and someone who really cares about the future of their craft. And I think that's really fascinating. And so I think maybe if people asked more questions and wondered to each other, you know, why do you think what you think? Uh, we would respect each other more. It encourages us to see each other as humans instead of just opposition. And this, this kind of topic also ties into my opinion that I don't really care what kind of personality you have. I really just care what motivates you through life. Why do you do what you do? What, 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 why are you getting out of bed every day? I think that's so much more interesting to me. Like, that's so much more interesting to me than, you know, what a person does. I don't really care that you're getting, that you're purchasing gas at the gas station. I care that you're purchasing gas at the gas station to go visit your grandma because she lives four hours away and you have to go drive there to go see her. I think that's more interesting. Um, or like, why are you going to see your grandmother? Are you seeing her because you really care about her? Or are you seeing her because you want to be written into the will? And if you want to be written into the will, is it because you need the money or because you're trying to keep someone else from getting the money? You know, I, I, it's, there's, like a, there's like a train that you can follow in order to learn more or think more or, or just see what else is going on when it might seem so simple on the surface. And it's just fun that way. I think it makes life so much more interesting and enjoyable. And it's a little bit mischievous too, because you can make up whatever you want in your mind. It's kind of just writing little stories for people from afar. It's, it's nice to be able to look at the infinity of mankind and say to yourself, I'm part of this infinity and I have the opportunity to change that infinity as much as I want. He's so cute. I love him. What? What? It's such a little pitiful noise you made. In storytelling, especially, there are, there are so many layers to what is occurring in a film. There's the sonic aspect, the visual aspect, the actual dialogue, the storytelling, the performance, the camera movement. There's so much happening at once and all of it can impact how someone is going to interpret that film. And so I like dissecting and understanding the reasons that people don't like things. It, it makes the conversation so much more interesting. It becomes immediately not combative and it helps you to better understand the person that you're speaking to, even if they're a stranger. They're, the things that they like and the reasons that they like them is really telling about who they are and why they think what they think and just better understanding the, the minds around you because understanding that your brain works uniquely from almost everybody else, it's so liberating, but it's so lonely. And so to connect with other people more, you have to try to investigate them, you have to see them as a person and see them as unique from yourself and when you begin to do that life becomes so much more rich i think that's all i have to say either way hopefully i'll be able to post every week this semester but i'm working a lot so we'll have to see um i will be continuing on letterbox i always log what i've been watching um it's just, uh, it's gonna be a really busy semester, so I won't make any promises, um, but it is my goal to post every week. I hope everyone has a great week, and if you're in school, good luck with school. I'm in school, so we'll be struggling together, but hopefully it'll be really fun, and we'll learn a lot. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just in a good mood today. I had a really good class day. So, peace out.